Hey everyone, just a quick word before we get started on this beer review. If you're interested in purchasing any of these beers that you see on my channel, stick around to the end of the video and I will tell you where you can purchase them at online. Now isn't that lovely? Have beer shipped right to your home and don't have to go anywhere. All right, enjoy the video. Cheers to that. Welcome, my friends. Here we are once again to sample some more great tasting American craft beer with Dr. Dave. Fabulous indeed. Now for our sampling pleasures and tasting delights. Today we have an Ohio beer. This is from the Twin Oast Brewing Company. They're located in Port Clinton, Ohio. Up there in the islands, man. Yeah. This is the irresponsible. Eerie as in Lake Erie. No doubt about it. Described as an American pale ale. Ooh, I think it's going to be good. Nice and smooth. 5.3% alcohol by volume and 40 IBUs. According to the date stamp on the bottom here, it says, uh, let me do some quick math here. It is 88 days old. So it's kind of up there in age, but it's okay. We'll be all right, baby. 16 ounce can. We're going to go ahead and use our lovely IPA glassware here today. No particular reason. We're just going to use it. Uh, let's go ahead and straighten it out a little bit. It's looking quite lovely. What do you think? Can't get that last little bit in there because I wanted to make some lovely looking head. That is a very beautiful golden copper color, isn't it? And it's got a lovely, lovely looking bright white head on there. That that looks nice. Hmm. See what kind of aroma we can pick up here. Oh, very bright citrus notes in there. Oh, bright citrus notes. Floral. Lovely. Lovely. Oh, that smells really good. Hey, before I drink this, I want to thank the brewers there at Twin Oasts in uh, Port Clinton for all the hard work they do. And thank you at home for watching. And I can tell you now that I have this over here by the daylight. I can see some carbonation rising up from the bottom. So cheers. Go ahead and get the rest of that in there. No doubt. Kind of a biscuity, uh, biscuity backbone there on that. A um, little bit of lemon in there too. Nice, there's some nice citrus in here. A little, little lemony to me. A little bit of a pine note way out in the distance. It's not, uh, not like a strong IPA pine, but it's in there nonetheless. Hmm, nice floral, nice floral hops in there. It's a very super easy drinking beer, and as I predicted, American Pale Ales generally are not off the chart in any way, shape, or form. Now, of course, there's exceptions to that. I had one that's probably been about a month ago, man. That was a killer. <laughs> Irresponsible. And what they're talking about this, uh, they're brewing this in the same way, in the same fashion that the people take care of Lake Erie. Irresponsible. There's a group that takes care of Lake Erie, and uh, what this brewery is saying is that they take care of their beer in much the same way, no doubt about it. Oh, man, that just it's just wonderful. Now, it did serve us a little bit on the cool side. As it warms, it may bring forth some more aromas and flavors, but I don't think so. I kind of like my pails on the cool side, no doubt. That's quite lovely indeed. I would describe this as a light to medium bodied mouthfeel. It's nothing special. It's nothing to write home about. But I tell you what, there's nothing wrong with this beer either. It's a very middle of the road American pale ale. Um, if you're looking for a lot of hops, this is not it. <laughs> but American pale ales generally don't have a big hop presence either. Uh, 
as always, exception to the rule. And I do notice a lot of uh, lacing there clinging to the side of the glass. Two things you need for that. The first thing you need is clean glassware, but more importantly, you need a well-crafted beer because no matter how clean the glass is, if the beer is not well-crafted, it's not going to clink to the side. I don't care what you do. <laughs> That's a fact. <laughs> hey, let me run out of here. But before I do, I'm going to tell you, got to drink good craft beer, baby, because life is short. Cheers to that. Okay, everyone. As promised, Dr. Dave's going to tell you where he buys his beers and where you can buy them also. First on the list is RivalryBrews.com. Now, don't worry. I'm going to put the links in the description box for you. Rivalry Brews is a relatively new mail order place. It's based right here in Ohio in Medina. And they are fantastic. I tell you what, when they first started, I got free shipping on all the beers. Now, I think they, they charge me $2. $2 for 12 beers. That's fantastic. Now, as far as I know, they ship to the lower 48, but you might want to check the website on that. I can't be 100% sure. But the shipping is fast. The turnaround is fast. And if anything's wrong, they will fix it right away. I only had one issue with them. And they refunded half my purchase order, which I thought was more than fair. More than fair. So anyway, uh, by the way, disclaimer, I don't get any money on any of this. I'm not affiliated with any of these beer companies. They don't know I'm doing this. I'm just telling you where to buy the beer. Now, one day I may be affiliated. And if I am at that point, I'll certainly let you know. So Rivalry Brews, located right here in Ohio. They specialize in Ohio beers. Uh, beers from Pennsylvania and Indiana. So if you want some good Ohio craft beer, that's a good place to start. The second one on my list, oh, I love this place. It's called Halftime Beer. Halftime Beer has two locations in New York State, Poughkeepsie, and I believe it's pronounced Mamoronic. Mamoronic. Yeah, don't quote me on that pronunciation. I tried my best. Yeah, anyway. They have more beer online than you could possibly look at in a day. I'm telling you, they have beer everywhere on that website. And all you have to do is go on there, make your selection, and have it shipped. Now, they do have gift boxes, which come with a really nice cooler. Yeah, and uh, you can't beat it. It's $5 shipping on those uh, special orders. Now, on the other beers, the shipping can get a little bit pricey, but I've never had an order for more than $20 shipping, which I think is really good for 12 bottles of beer. Now, if you get cans, it's less cost because it, less, it weighs less, uh, and that's what costs the money is the weight and the size of the box. So, yeah, check them out. Now, I belong to two of their uh, what's known as Beer of the Month Club. I'm in their German Beer of the Month Club, so I get 12 bottles from six different breweries, two of each, once a month. And there's a lot of beers in there that I've never heard of from Germany. I thought I had them all, not even close. And then I have the Around the World Beer Club, which is exactly what it sounds like. It's beers from all over the world. So far, I only got one beer that I didn't really like. Uh, you know, it happens. It happens. And, uh, you know, you take your chances on that. But uh, I got some beer from South Korea, of all places, South Korea. I thought it was really, really good. Now, last on the list, but not least, and I didn't put these in any particular order, it's the best damn beer shop. Now, they're out of San Diego. And they have a killer selection, I'm telling you. Matter of fact, talking about all this beer, I'm going to have to have one here. Mm. That's just a regular run-of-the-mill Pilsner, German style, but it hits the spot on a day like this. Anyway, best damn beer shop. Woo! Now, their shipping, they require you to uh, choose in lots of six. So you can get six, 12, 18, 24 is the maximum. And uh, their shipping is reasonable, considering I'm on the East Coast and they're on the West Coast. Yeah, the shipping is generally about $19 for a 12-bottle selection, which I don't think is a lot. $19? No, I don't think that's a lot. Now, the more beer you buy, 
the less money it's going to cost. That's just a fact of economics. So if you want to buy six beers, it's going to cost more to ship it than the 12. Hey, I, I don't make the rules, man. Just buy more beer. You save more money on shipping. What can I tell you? Yeah, but they're a great place. And uh, so all, all three of those places, Rivalry Brews uh, for Ohio beers. And then you have the uh, Halftime Beverage, which is in New York. They have a selection on everything. And same thing with Best Damn Beer Shop. Now, if you want some West Coast beers that you can't find in your town, that's the place to buy them at. Last but not least, people always ask me, what is that on your beer glass? Well, I bought it at Amazon, Amazon Amazon.com. It's called a Vacuvin, Vacuvin. And if I'm not mistaken, it's from uh, Sweden, if I'm not mistaken. And the inside of it is lined with special material. So what you do is you put this in the freezer, you let it sit overnight, and then you put your beverage in here. And it will maintain that beverage at around 38 degrees, which is really cold for a beer. But I like my pills just cold. Now, if you already have a beer that warmed up, put it in here and it'll bring it to the proper temperature, no doubt. And I said last, but I I was mistaken. This is the last thing I want to talk about. Uh, Dr. Dave's beer glasses. Now, I did sell these a number of years ago when I had my other beer channel. and. This is a new design, though. This is a different design. Now, I could sell these if there's enough interest in them, but I have to order them uh, about 144 at a time. So I don't want to order them unless there's some real interest in them. Now, it's difficult to see on here, but it says Dr. Dave's cheap-ass beer reviews. Yeah, uh, it's not really going to come out that well there on the camera, but I would sell these uh, at cost. Now, I'm not trying to make any money on them. I think it cost me $14.98 to, uh, to have those made. So I would sell them at the same price. Now, I don't know if the price could have gone up because I did buy those a few years back. So, But I would sell them at cost if anybody's interested. But uh, like I said, I don't get any money off these links. There's no affiliate, uh, affiliate links here. I'm not making any money. I just wanted to let everybody know where I buy my beer so you could buy it too. Oh, and you know, I almost forgot. The Amazing Clubs Beer of the Month Club. Amazing Clubs. I'll put all the links in the description box. Knock yourself out. Hey, thanks for watching, okay? And Dr. Dave says cheers to that.